Hey guys, in this video, we are going to see how can we decode a QR code in our Node.js environment. So we have this file present in our local system and I'm gonna decode this QR code using two external modules. Now, since this is an image, so I require a library to process this image. So the library that I'm gonna use for that purpose is Jimp. And I have already created a video on that on my channel. So this is the video that you have to watch if you are not aware of how Jimp works. The other package is this QR code reader, guys. Okay, so you have to install both of these packages in your project. Now, how do we use this one? So we say we import this, then we create an instance of it. Then guys, this is the callback which has got error and result. So if there's an error, we return the error, else we return the result. Okay, then we say, okay, uh, decode the image.bitmap. Now this image is nothing, it's a buffer that we get uh, with the help of Jimp library. Okay, and then we use this method bitmap which decodes the QR code. Okay, so guys, let's get started. These are the two packages I've imported. Then I am working with the file system. So these are native Node.js module, FS and path. And this is the function that I've created, okay, QR code. Now this is an asynchronous function and it takes in the file name, okay. Now with the help of path.join, I am just creating the full path of the file, okay. Now we are using try and catch because we are working with files. And the first thing in the try we are doing is if the file exists at this path, then we read the file using jim.read. Okay, and this gives us the buffer. All right, so we have the buffer and at the end, we are just going to say this buffer dot bitmap that will decode what's there in the QR code. Okay, so we have instantiated the QR code and this is the callback guys, which we saw in here. Okay, this is the callback. So I wrap that inside a promise this is my callback, same thing. So you have got these error and values in here. Okay, not, if there is a problem, you reject that and you say, hey, there's an error. If there are no errors, you resolve it with the value. Okay, and then you say qr.decode image, right? The one which we read using the Jimp library and you use the method bitmap and then you just return value.result. Okay, and if there'll be any error, so you return this now we are using this we say read qr code and this is the name of the image guys it's present at the same uh, location okay so then we say since this is an async function you have to use then and catch okay so let's see what are we going to get back so if everything works we'll see qa box let's test printed in the console okay we start a terminal Let's save everything and we just say node the name of the file is qr execute it there you go okay so we are able to parse or decode this qr code okay great so i hope you like this thanks for watching